On today's episode, where will EV lithium come from? In the future, North Carolina. Today's episode is brought to you by engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on engineering.com TV today. Critics of the transition from the internal combustion engine to electric vehicles point out that many obstacles remain to full adoption. High costs, unknown electrical grid capacity, and importantly, access to the critical minerals necessary to create the all-important battery packs. With electric car battery technology, lithium is the key metal, and like other strategic inputs, most of the world's supply are a long way from American auto manufacturers. That, however, may be changing, as Albemarle Corporation and Caterpillar have announced a deal to collaborate on zero-emissions battery-powered mining equipment for deployment at the Kings Mountain, North Carolina lithium mine. The deal will establish Kings Mountain as the first-ever zero-emissions lithium mine site in North America. Part of the deal is a lithium offtake agreement guaranteeing lithium supplies to Caterpillar, who are actively developing battery-powered construction and mining equipment. Although not agreed on contractually, both companies will explore opportunities to collaborate on battery cell research and development of recycling technologies. The collaboration can't come too soon for American battery makers, as global lithium demand is skyrocketing. Demand is expected to reach 3.8 million tons annually by 2035, driven by battery production for electric vehicles. The world's largest known reserves of lithium are in Chile, currently estimated at 9.3 million metric tons, with current known reserves in the U.S. at approximately 1 million metric tons. Economically, there is plenty of incentive for domestic American lithium production, with average prices for battery-grade lithium carbonate in 2022 averaging approximately $37,000 per metric ton, one of the reasons why electric vehicles are so expensive to manufacture. The most significant part of the Albemarle Caterpillar collaboration, however, may not be in clean mining technology, but in lithium recycling. A very high proportion of primary steel production is recycled repeatedly, and scrap steel has been the driving force behind a renaissance in electric arc mini mill technology, making high value steels for manufactured goods like automobiles. In the early part of the Industrial Revolution, lacking large quantities of scrap, there was a global boom in the construction of blast furnaces and coking operations to turn iron ore into carbon steel. If the energetics and costs of lithium recycling from spent electric vehicle batteries prove to be similar to the steelmaking experience, the amount of lithium carbonate and equivalent ores in the ground may not be the rate determining factor to sustained electric vehicle production in America. Well, that's it for today's episode of This Week in Engineering, brought to you by engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future, Designing the Future, and the Engineering Roundtable, not found on our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.